you removed the soundtrack from the tape before you turned it over to this program. That's correct. I can't allow the voices of the project personnel to be heard by the general public. There's a very good chance their family or friends on the outside might recognize them. Is it your purpose in releasing this tape to expose Area 51 to the world? My purpose is to expose the existence of the aliens, not compromise these individuals. I made the decision to come forward. I'm taking precautions to protect my own identity, and I don't think it's fair for me to put these others in danger of exposure. In any case, the interview on the tape went nowhere. It was interrupted, as you'll see. Can you describe for us what we're seeing? All right, we're looking at the interview suite at S4. Uh, it's kept dark for the comfort of the aliens. The uh, figure who is just barely visible in the left foreground is the telepath, and behind the camera is a raked seating area for observers. Although in this case, I believe the only other person uh, present was a military aide. The alien is seated behind a glass partition in a biocontainment area, which is maintained at biosafety level two, the lowest uh, designation. That's primarily for the uh, protection of the aliens, not us. The theory is that uh, if they were going to infect us with an alien bug, it would have happened 50 years ago. Um, in fact, uh, all the indications are the aliens eliminated microbial and viral life from their own ecosystem long ago. They aren't susceptible to our diseases directly, but it has been shown that microbes can reproduce and form colonies within their respiratory systems, which tends to exacerbate the debilities they seem to suffer anyway in our environment. Uh, in fact, you can see here the alien is beginning to flag uh, the interview was not going well. The telepath was trying to clarify some points from a previous interview, but he wasn't receiving coherent responses. As you can see, the being is in real distress. At this point, the telepath is uh, sending out a message to the medical staff. Uh, he's trying to communicate with the alien, but he's getting no response. There's very little he can do. He, there's no direct connection between uh, his space and the uh, biocontainment area. That's the aide stepping in on the right. Uh, the medical staff should be there by now. They're, they're slow in responding. There they are. I have to say the medical personnel at S4 are less than first rate. They tend to be selected for their willingness to keep secrets rather than their medical competence. By the way, he's not shining that light into the eyes. It looks that way, but in fact he's checking for hemorrhaging around the eye sockets and uh, in the nasal cavity. I'm sorry. It's very hard for me to watch this. You're asking me if I think this is real? that I've, have I finally seen a space alien? Um, you know, I don't know. But I do know this. I know that this is not a tricked up uh, version like the alien autopsy. Uh, it doesn't attempt to distract you away from the alien. Uh, it doesn't have that cinema verite, black and white. Uh, it doesn't go to great lengths to try to fool the audience. Straight ahead. It's an alien on tape. Pretty much the way you'd probably film it. The point is this. What if it is real? In evaluating the authenticity of the alien interview tape, the logical place to begin is with the videotape itself. What can the technical details of this recording tell us about its origin? Rocket Pictures sent Victor's original tape to the Phoenix Laboratory of renowned image analyst